term of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r i s k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters if you must meet jesus you must walk on that water if it be thou bid me come and he said come there are too many people who will not take action you will not start that business because you are afraid i watch somebody lose i don't want to lose money i don't want to lose my shop i don't want to do this what if the birds die africa is full of what ifs and we never take action stand up and do something what if i apply and i don't get the job it will be that i wasted money it would take five thousand for me to go and submit my cv in lagos it will take another five thousand for me to return maybe i will need to book a hotel ten thousand and stay two days if i spend thirty thousand just to submit my cv what if i don't get the job there is no guarantee there is no uncle there we live in an age of fearful people risk averse people every champion every world changer listen to me is a person of risk abraham take your son see risk the law of faith a time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like esther say if i perish i perish failure is not the end of life don't fear failure when you fear failure you program it to happen in your life great people are not those without failures listen carefully great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall the brand seven up for years i didn't know why it was called seven up until i began to study brands and i found out that it was called seven up because the person tried six times six times and failed it was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing i will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it there is a vacancy i don't know anybody oh should i apply should i not apply and you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you go and submit the cv listen the world only honors men of action not just men of wish men of action after all the planning and everything you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith 
the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why not because there are no cars <laughs> i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days their orgas pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid